Champ Cart is brought to you by Briggs and Stratton and the LS Cart Racing Engine. Also brought to you by Da Vinci Foods. Drink water. Real athletes don't drink energy drinks, they drink water. Here we are at beautiful Mont Tremblant Karting Circuit, the Academy Jim Russell, Simon Belanger, the gentleman leading the championship. We have our last round today of the ECKC Karting Championships, probably the biggest karting championship in all of Canada. This is our points leader as we see it after seven races with only one race left to go. Uh, La Fontaine has not participating, so it's going to be between Simon Belanger and Kyle Herter. Lots of pressure here on Simon Belanger. It's only been racing for about three years now, got the bug in uh, rental carts, and Kyle Herter's been racing since a young man. So much experiment, so much experience, such a good driver. Kyle and his family have been around karting for so long. Matthew Demers is Simon's coéquipier, as they say in French. He's going to try and help him out, but always on the legal side. Here in pole position for this big race is Kyle Herter, and right next to him is brother Pierce Herter in carts and parts. That is a big part of this whole racing family. Matthew Demers, who's starting in P3, has been slowly moving himself towards the front. And Simon Belanger in P4. You couldn't have a more, a more perfect scenario for our final race. Jonathan Treadwell will be starting on P5. Canadian karting champion in the Briggs and Strand. A fabulous young man right next to him. Nathan Gilbert. Nathan Gilbert, as his dad uh, corrected me at the, at the race. Nathan will be starting in P6. His dad also races in Briggs and Stratton Senior. Kevin King, former winner in Rotax Junior, is going to be in P7, driving in the Burrell Art Cart. Marco Signoretti, who also races in Rotax Senior, will be starting on the outside of row four. Michael Forget will be in P9 in the Margay Cart. Michael's been in karting for a few years now, and right next to him, Sebastien Laviolette, who I believe won a race earlier this year, or was on the podium in the Coupe de Quebec race at the start of the season. Charlotte Lalonde, very popular with all the young men, very beautiful Charlotte, is gonna be starting on P11, right next to her. Michel de la Plante in P12. We have a full grid here today in this Briggs and Stratton senior final. This is gonna be the eighth race of the championship. A lot of pressure, a lot of nerves. Anything can happen, and usually it does in this fabulous Briggs and Stratton senior kart racing class. Engines so evenly matched, it really does come down to driver, chassis setup, and strategy does play a big role. Right now the drivers are just itching. They can't wait to get on the track. All right, this is what they want. The nerves are gone, the drivers are rolling. Now it's time for the parents and the mechanics to be nervous. Trust me, when you're racing, this is all you want. You want the official to say, come on boys, on the track, or boys and girls, on the track, let's get rolling. The nerves are gone now. Once you're on your pace lap, the nerves are gone. Once again, a review of our top seven drivers. Very, very closely matched. Such a little time differential between the top 10 racers. You see Simon Jabin, Zach Baum in position 13. You always gotta look for Zach to challenge up Simon. Sylvain Laviolette in 20. Richard Schumacher, no relation of course, is gonna be starting in P21. Tom Cadieu, who has raced, and Michael Spittori, who is uh, one of the stronger drivers in Rotax, will be starting in P28. Such a beautiful circuit here. It looks like we have an absolute perfect fall day. Are we gonna get the green this time by? Here we go, they're off. Oh, the inside line just took off as we see. That's Pierce Herter. Right behind him is gonna be Mathieu de Mers. Mathieu de Mers is second, Kyle, and Simon Belanger is in third. 
Here we go, coming into the long hairpin. There's going to be a lot of action here today with the drafting. Mathieu Demers, your new leader here, and the first lap now is into P1. Pierce Herder is in P3, and that's Simon Bellanger in P3. So our top two rows remain intact. Oh, here comes Kyle right on the inside of Mathieu Demers, and he makes it stick. Going to be a lot of passing today, I believe. The track is just, this is just a fabulous kart racing track. Jonathan Treadwell in P5 and Kevin King, who started in P7, is right behind him. Look at that, we have our top seven drivers, nose to tail. It might, I hope it stays like this for the whole race. But this is the type of kart racing track, the, the design of this facility allows for a lot of close racing. And with that very long straightaway that they're going down right now, it's ideal for passing. No change at the front right now. We have one of our cameras is on Mathieu de Mouth. We see Simon Bellage thinking of getting by Pierce Herner. Going into the hairpin after the long straightaway. Oh, Pierce closes the door on him. Simon was not quite close enough. Wasn't on, a, a long, wasn't on the inside of Pierce and Pierce justifiably was able to close the door in that hairpin. Coming out of corner eight here. A very interesting combination. Corner nine and ten is, is very, very exciting. It's, it's, a, it's a combination of chicanes, and the, the one chicane in the middle goes a bit off camber. So you gotta be very careful. You have to attack, but not too much, or you'll get caught off by the off camber corner. No change for the time being here. Our, our top four qualifiers are the top four racers at this point in time. We still have Kyle Herter, Mathieu de Mers, Pierce Herder, and Simon Bellanger in fourth place. They seem to have detached from the rest of the group. That's Jonathan Treadwell still in P5. Oh, Mathieu de Mers diving on the inside. Can he make it work for himself? Yes, he can. Mathieu de Mers. Oh, Pierce Herder closing the door here on Simon Bellanger. Simon is in fourth. Mathieu de Mers manages to get by Kyle Herder at the end of the long straightaway. We've seen a lot of passing there throughout the weekend and look for it to continue in today's final. So much at stake, a long championship. Drivers have been working for the whole season, accumulating points, keeping their nose clean on the track, trying to maximize their results. And everything is gonna come down to today's final between Simon Belanger and Kyle Herder. But your leader right now, Mathieu Demers. Right behind him is Kyle Herter, followed by Pierce Herter, Simon Belanger. Now we see Jonathan Treadwell has worked his way back up into fifth place. Nathan Gilbert is sixth, Kevin King seventh, and Marco Signoretti round out our top eight. Nose to tail here for the our leaders. So important to, to be in a right position to attack near the end of the race. You want to be a little bit conservative sometimes and just keep your nose clean at this early stage of the race. Oh, a little bumping here that was. Nathan Gilbert being pushed out ever so slightly by, by Kevin King. That allowed Marco Signoretti to now make it up into sixth place. You can see him right in front of, of Kevin King and Nathan Gilbert. And there's Jonathan Treadwell, always in fifth place, the Canadian karting championship, just surveying this whole pack in front of him. Two Alonzo cards, two awesome, two awesome cards at the front here. Mathieu Demers looks so smooth and in control today. Sometimes when you're not battling for a champion, championship, you can just let it all hang out and go for the victory. It's Kyle Herter stuck right on Mathieu Demers' bumper. <coughs> Kyle and Simon definitely have more strategy involved since they're, they really want to take home the championship for their respective teams and mechanics. Simon Bellager thinking it Diving on the inside of Pierce Herder, but just didn't quite have the speed down the long straightaway. Drafting is so important, but you really got to come out of that last corner just perfectly to be able to take advantage of the draft. For the time being, no change. We see Jonathan Treadwell always in fifth place, just hanging back, waiting, wondering to see what's going to happen. Right behind him is... That would be Marco Signoretti, by, followed by Nathan Gilbert and Kevin King. 
Oh, it looks like Kyle Herter's decided he's had it with being in second place. There was a hole open and he dove right on the inside of Mathieu de Mars. They were going on the start finish straight away. As they head into corner one, Mathieu de Mars, Pierce Herter. Oh, a little bit of contact be Herter and Simon Bélanger. Oh, Pierce Herter rams right into the back of Simon Bélanger. We saw a collision there as they came out of corner one, and I really don't know what happened, what Pierce Herter was thinking. He has too much experience to make a mistake like that. Okay, we see them come together here. See Pierce Herter, Bélanger tries to go on the outside. Pierce looks like he loses control of his card. Pushes Simon Bélanger a bit wide. Now as they come into corner two, oh, Pierce Herter drives right into the back of Simon Bélanger. I can't believe that a driver like Pierce Herter with so much experience would make that kind of a mistake so early in the race, trying to get on the inside or in the middle of those two cards and ends up right on the back of Simon Bélanger. This is gonna have serious championship implications. to racing action, your leader, Kyle Herter, followed by Mathieu de Maus and Jonathan Treadwell, Kevin King, Nathan Gilbay, and Sébastien Laviolette. Just before, we had an incident between Simon Bélanger and Pierce Herter that just completely changed the whole championship. I'm not quite sure right now, I need my director to tell me. Okay, Simon Bélanger is back in 17th place. Oh, there we saw Jonathan Treadwell get a little aggressive with Kyle Herter. This is getting a little bit nasty here. There's so much at stake between Simon Bélanger and Kyle Herter. And there was Jonathan Treadwell as well. I'm, I'm going into second place, Kyle. Move over. I still uh, can't get over that last uh, incident between Pierce. Just has too much experience to make a mistake like that early in the race. And Jonathan Treadwell, your Canadian karting champion, who won the race at Mosport, is now taking a lead ahead of Mathieu de Mars. In, sec in third place, there's... Oh, there's Kevin King trying to dive on the inside of Kyle Herter. Can't quite make it work. Kyle Herter is still in third place at this point. We'll have to keep our eye on Simon Bélanger and see if he can make some ground, make up some ground, and maybe we're, we're, we're gonna let the, the producer figure out what's going on with the championship in, in, in terms of points. But as we speak right now, as we speak right now, your leader is Jonathan Treadwell, followed very closely by Mathieu de Maus, Herder, and Kevin King. Yeah, memory serves me correctly. There was a major incident between Kevin King and Kyle Herder there at Mosport at the Canadian Championship. Here comes Simon Bélanger. is now working his way back up the field, up into 16th plate. He has a lot to do. P15, he's going after William Gosselin for P15. Fortunately, we have a we have a camera on Simon Bélanger, so we can see his progress as he makes his way up into the field. That was William Gosselin in 15 and Simon Bélanger in 16. I believe you start getting points from 15th position. So much at stake and so much has yet to be decided here at Circuit Jim Russell here in beautiful Mont Tremblant. Your leader Jonathan Treadwell, followed very closely by Mathieu de Maus. Right behind him, Kyle Herner, and Kevin King is right behind Kyle Herner. Look at Mathieu de Maus thinking, oh, Jonathan, you're a nice guy, but I want the lead now. Here as he dives on the inside into that hairpin, and Kyle Herner follows very close, but now we got Kevin King on the outside. Oh, a little bit of contact between King and Herner. Will Kevin King hang on? Yes, Kevin King hangs on to second place as he muscles his way by Kyle Herner to be polite. Kyle Herter is now still in third place. So much to be decided. A lot of times, oh, Kyle Herter dives on the inside of Kevin King, can't make it work, a little bit of contact. And we see Jonathan Treadwell, and that would be Nathan Gilbert right behind him in the cosmic part. Cart. So much to be decided. A lot of bumping going on right now. It's Jonathan Treadwell has a little bit of contact with Kyle Herter. Kyle's going, what's going on? Usually in Briggs. They're very orderly, and it, they decided on the last lap. Zach Bohm is now up into P5. Nathan Gilbert 4, Zach Bohm P5. Kyle Herter has dropped back to P7, man who started on pole position. 
Sebastian Laviolette gets by Kyle Herter in a little bit of an aggressive move. We haven't seen this kind of racing all year, but after the long championship, the nerves might be a little bit frayed and everyone's very excited at this point. Here we are in the final instance of this race. We see Kyle Herter is now down in P6. He had started on pole position. Mathieu Demel started in third place, is your leader. Followed very closely by Kevin King as they try to pull away for us from the rest of the field. Championship washers just let you know that Simon Belanger is now in 15th place. There's Jonathan Treadwell third, Zach Baum in fourth. That was Sebastien Laviolette in five, just ahead of Kyle Herter. So many championship implications here in the final moments of this race. There's Kyle Herter as he's trying to muscle his way to the front to try and maximize his points. Meanwhile, here at the front, Matsu Damas is telling Kevin, come on, Kevin, push me. Let's get away from the rest of the field and we'll battle this out. Kyle Herter here on the inside of Sebastian Violet. Yes, he, La Violet, yes, he can make it work. Meanwhile, Zach Bohm, Jonathan Treadwell side by side. Oh, Kyle Herter is on the move. Very aggressive driving as you see him just go right on top of, right on the back of Zach Bohm. A little collision here, side by side. Kyle Herter is still in fifth position. He's trying to get to the front if he wants to win this championship. Oh, a little bit of contact. Well, hard to tell. Herter did have the inside of that corner. corner. Meanwhile, back at the front, Kevin King tried to make a move on Matthew Demers in the final instance of this race as they come out of the last corner going to the start finish. Your winner, Matthew Demers, Kevin King second, Jonathan Treadwell is third, Sebastian Laviolette fourth. That was Kyle Herter in fifth. And Simon Belanger, we need to know. Oh, there was an accident here with two corners to go. This may have changed the whole championship. Simon Belanger is now up into 12th place. Yes, he crosses the line in 12th place. Stephen Folio finishes in 13th. A driver from France who was trying today's experience in Briggs and Stratton. I'm not quite sure who wins the championship, but that, that, it, that accident right at the end with two corners to go, allowed Simon Belanger to gain two positions, and that might make the difference. Anyway, your winner, Mathieu Demers, strong drive, Kevin King, Jonathan Treadwell, Canadian champion, Sébastien Laviolette in fifth, and Kyle Herter. There we see him, Simon Belanger in 12th place, Stephen Folio, William, William Gosselin in 14th, Zach Bohm, who had a chance at a podium shot, dropped back to seventh place. Well, isn't it fantastic that our, our last race in the ECKC Championship was by far our most exciting race. There was a lot of action. There was a lot of contact. Your winner of the championship, it's official, Simon Belanger, Kyle Herner second, Lafontaine third, Jonathan Treadwell, the Canadian Championship fourth, and Pierce Herter managed to finish fifth in this Canadian Karting Champion. We're gonna stop for a short break and we'll be right back. Podium presentation here, Briggs and Stratton senior final. What an exciting race. Um, there he is, Jonathan Treadwell. Really super nice guy, seemed to be well liked by all the drivers. Finishes third, the Canadian karting champion from Most Sport. Kevin King, who we didn't see much of all weekend, but decided to put on his racing boots here in today's final. Did a nice race, pushed the mess to the front, and had a shot at him near the end of the race, but could only hang on to second place. And there he is here with her with his young daughter in tow. The very good looking Mathieu Demers. I saw his dad pacing during the race, uh, biting his fingernails and anything he, can, he could find. Your winner at today's Round eight here of the Eastern Canadian Karting Championship. Mathieu Demers. Very, oh, look at the smiles on these three guys. Three good looking men to boot. Mathieu Demers with his daughter in tow. This was really the most exciting race we've seen all summer long. And it's glad to see that uh, these three ended up on the podium.
We also had to note that Simon Belanger did win your championship, and Kyle Herter is second. Oh, what a little cutie pie with her dad on the podium. Our next event on the webcast will be the last race of the Coupe de Quebec from SRA Karting, Briggs and Stratton Senior. Well, big smile here on Kyle Herter as he gets his second place uh, trophy for the Eastern Canadian Karting Championship. Started on pole, had a strong chance to win the race, but everything just went sour after that collision with his brother and Simon Belanger and racing. So many things happen. It's never over till it's over. And here he is, your winner, Simon Belanger. Only three years ago, he was racing indoor karting. Then he, he went to outdoor go-karts and eventually said, hey, I want to get into this racing thing. And so nice to see a newcomer get to the front in racing. We have so many people who've been in karting for 15 and 20 years. Simon Belanger, three years later, you're the Eastern Canadian karting champion and Briggs and Stratton. And he gets to win an engine thanks to the Briggs and Stratton people. We're gonna have oh what an exciting day for Simon Belanger. Puis oui, ça a été chaud, j'ai eu peur, je ne savais pas où ce que j'en étais là, avec tout ça, là, d'où j'ai fini 12, mais je t'ai ramassé 15, 16, J'avais plutôt entre les dents, comme on dit, euh, je me suis dit, faut pas que je lâche, faut que je remonte. Hein. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé, euh, raconte-nous, euh, de ta vision à toi, ce qui s'est passé quand Pierce Herder a protégé son frère puis t'a envoyé dans le gazon? J'ai vu, ben, je pense que j'ai vu la même chose. Il, il, il s'est essayé une fois, il m'a sorti un petit peu. Puis la deuxième, la, la curve d'après, il m'a rentré ça dans le côté, dans le coin, puis je revenais dans le gazon. Et qu'est-ce que t'en penses? Parce que juste avant, moi, Carl m'a dit, ah, oh, ben, tu sais, je m'attends rien de cochon de la part de Simon, parce que c'est un gars très respectueux, tu sais. T'en penses quoi? Je vais garder mes mots. Bon, ben là, t'es champion. Euh, à, à être parti du quartier de location, il y a quelques années, puis être rendu champion du ICKC, ça procure quoi comme feeling? So much drama and excitement today. Simon Belanger, a well-deserved champagne shower. This was an exciting race, as you'll get to see. It was been brought to you by Briggs and Strand and the LS Kart Racing Engine. Also brought to you by Da Vinci Foods. And brought to you by Drink Water. Real athletes don't drink energy drinks, they drink water. I'm Norm Trotzier. This was a fabulous day of racing. Hope you enjoyed our webcast today.